Hey fellow explorers, today I'm gonna to be taking you around the Santa Monica Pier, the most famous pier on the west coast of California. We're gonna start here at the end. We're gonna walk down the pier, take a look at all the amusement stuff, and finally end at the beach. I'm gonna show you my favorite place to park that's only a dollar per hour. Super good deal, it's kind of a secret spot down there at the end of the pier. I'm gonna turn the camera out so you can see. I am up on this second story balcony at the end of the pier, right next to the harbor office. So if you're looking at a spot to get epic selfies of the Santa Monica Pier, that's gonna be the place to do it. Now, from up here, it's another good spot to get your selfies of the beach and pier, but I like that little spot tucked in by the harbor office. Now, this is Santa Monica looking down to the south, big, wide, sandy beach. Over that way, you see another pier, that's Venice Beach, and then that big hill is Rancho Palos Verdes, or the Palos Verdes Peninsula. This part of the pier back here is, is a part that actually a lot of people don't even come to because they just end up at the amusement park and never make it all the way to the end. And I'm definitely a completist when it comes to piers where I've got to walk to the end. Now, the big landmass you see off in the distance that way, that is Malibu. That's the famous celebrity enclave of famous celebrities like Pamela Anderson and people that have way more money than I do. Now, all the way at the end of the pier, this little area for fishing down here at the end. You'll notice that's concrete and this is wood. It's actually because this pier is made of concrete and the wood on the top is just to make it look old timey, historic like a pier. There's a Mexican restaurant out here called Maria Sol, if you're looking for some tacos and margaritas. And then this is a cool spot if you're looking to bring home some souvenirs. This gift shop is the last gift shop at the end of the Route 66, America's Main Street, because the Santa Monica Pier is the end of the Route 66. If you take the Route 66 all the way to where it hits the ocean, you will end up on the Santa Monica Pier. Uh, oh, and if you wanna know all about the history of the pier, there's a little history exhibit right here and restrooms, uh, nice clean restrooms here at the end of the pier. This pier was built in 1909, the first cement pier on the west coast of California, and it was built really to dump sewage out into the water. That's why they built this cement pier to dump the sewage out in the water. Uh, later, they built the Pleasure Pier next to the cement pier, and that's where this kind of whole amusement park era of the Santa Monica Pier began. Today, you'll find lots of vendors on the pier. You can see selling magnets and kites. There are more spots to fish down here. If you don't quite make it all the way to the end for a selfie, this is another good selfie spot right here in this fishing area. You can put in 25 cents and look off into the distance in there, but hey, I'll, I'll save you that if you, if you wanna see into the distance. How about I zoom in three times or maybe zoom in 10 times. That's kind of what it looks like if you're looking through that telescope. All right, zoom in back out, and now I've turned on the really wide angle of this camera just to give you a, a little bit more that you can take in. In addition to the vendors that come down here, there's a lot of artists that'll come down here to draw caricatures. There's entertainers that'll sing and they will dance. If uh, you've been to the Santa Monica Bear before and you're like, Chris, it's been busier when I've been here. Well, right now it is 11 a.m. and so people are still waking up and getting here. In fact, today, Pacific Park, which is the amusement park over here with the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster opens at noon. We've got another artist right here drawing some Santa Monica Pier art, which is pretty neat. Juan 14 6, as he said on his little cart. There are specific areas that people can set up to vend or entertain on the pier. They do it by permits and things like that. And you can see they've got these little stars on the pier to tell you where that is. And by the way, if this beach looks familiar, this is actually the beach uh, where Baywatch was set on as the big wide sandy beach. Now if you hear things like, well, Baywatch was in Malibu, turns out Malibu actually doesn't have all that much sand. Now the amusement park, it's not very big. It's actually kind of small, fun for the kiddos. And if you're an adult, well, then take that roller coaster just to, just to say you can. Now, by the way, I mentioned it's a cement and a wood pier. The amusement park section, you can see, there's actually a lot of wood pilings but there's also cement pilings too as a combination. All right, there's a neat Airstream trailer here because everybody knows Airstream trailers are kind of cool, right? Airstream trailers are like 
the new hip thing, particularly to like tour around the US in your trailer. You know, the van life, these sorts of things. Uh, but what is this one? This is, I don't know, it's not open yet. I think it's a gift shop. Now, this little area right here, this is the food court on the pier part of Pacific Park. If you hear these two things together, Santa Monica Pier, that's the whole pier. Pacific Park, that's the name of the actual amusement park. There is a coffee, bean, and tea leaf. There's a fish taco spot. There's a burger spot, funnel cake spot. But if you want burgers, I'm gonna show you my favorite place to eat on the pier, which is pretty tasty. Uh, these are quite expensive down here. As you could imagine, there is definitely that over the water surcharge right there. Here's the sign, the end of the Route 66, and a look into the not yet open in the morning amusement park, that Ferris wheel, Ferris rides, amusement games, the sort of things you would expect in an amusement park. By the way, if you wonder how much do things cost over here, how much will a uh, bottle of water cost you on the pier? It's gonna cost you $4 for a bottle of water from that vending machine on the Santa Monica Pier. As I said, nothing on the Santa Monica Pier is gonna be cheap. Uh, there's a pizza spot. How much a pizza's gonna cost you out here? A personal pizza's gonna cost you $10.59 on the Santa Monica Pier. They've got these machines where you can take photos, but doesn't everybody have a cell phone to take selfies right now? I really wonder how many people use those. All right, we've got a show setting up right here. We've got Andrew from Hollywood, California right there. Uh, we'll take a look at him in a second. But, uh, you know, if you have a sweet tooth, definitely check out the funnel cakes right here. I like the strawberry funnel cake, $12.99. You'll get a funnel cake with strawberries on it gift shop so you can bring home some more souvenirs and we'll just walk by and pop our camera over as we take a look at these guys they're doing like a dance break dancing type show <laughs> yeah and they haven't started their music yet so that's good no copyright infringement for my video all right when the music comes on everybody uh, clap your hands everybody clap your Remember hands early, but let's have some <laughs> energy. this Japa dog is actually a chain from Canada that does Japanese style hot dogs here. Oh, and I forgot to show you this, which is the Trapeze School of New York. If you want to learn how to do rings or things like that, you can do it here. Now, one of my favorite places on the Santa Monica Pier is the Playland Arcade. This is an old school arcade, but this is a pretty, pretty big one actually. And so if we take a look in this arcade, you can see they've got like a whole bunch of ball like a lot of ski ball old school ski ball and even like new school ski ball which is more like the digital bowling ski ball that's pretty neat the things you can throw stuff at uh, and then back over here there are tons of um, these air hockey games if you're here on a summer weekend every single one of these is going to be taken of course, you've got crane games, and some of my favorite things to play are pinball. They have a classic Adams Family, a couple new Star Wars machines, and uh, how do they look? Yeah, they look like they're in pretty good condition. We can kind of look into the backside of Pacific Park over here. You can see the staff is getting some of these rides, like the balloon rides and the bumper cars, ready to go. There is a large parking lot on the Santa Monica Pier. This has been closed for a long time since COVID. It looks like they're getting ready to start opening this back up again. This is probably gonna be the most expensive parking that you can park at. Um, and there's a big lot down on the beach that I'll show you, but my secret lot is just over that way. Uh, if you're looking for hotels, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, there's a bunch of hotels that are right here along the water, along the boardwalk in Santa Monica. Those are pretty nice stay in and pretty convenient. Uh, the central restrooms to the pier are right here. There's a big restroom complex. And my favorite place to eat on the pier it's gonna be this spot. This is Pier Burger, which is actually where I'm gonna eat when I'm done with this video. And they actually make really good burgers, if you could believe it or not. Like the kind of things that you'll wanna come back and have again, not just the kind of things that as a tourist, you're like, I'll have that once and never again. Uh, but a burger here, a single burger will cost you $6.25. A double burger will cost you $8.50. And it's just kind of like an old school 
burger joint, you can get shakes and those sort of things. So pretty tasty. And I know there's not smell-o-vision yet, but it smells pretty good. Uh, there's a shop that you can get like shells and rocks out here. Looks like they haven't quite opened up for the day yet. You may have noticed there have been a lot of bicycles uh, down on the boardwalk underneath the pier, or you may not have. We'll check that out in a moment. But if you want to rent a bicycle, uh, my suggestion for you is Blazing Saddles right here up on the pier. Uh, they keep their bikes in pretty good condition. You can even get some with baby carriers. And uh, oh, by the way, if you're looking to pick up like all sorts of like touristy stuff, um, then you know, here's a bunch of like <coughs> brochures that you can pick up with all the touristy information of the area. So now uh, this is actually, it's Blazing Saddles, but I think it's run by this company called Perry's. We're here at the Santa Monica Pier. They have a couple more locations that you can rent bikes a little further up in Santa Monica. And they've got a few more locations that you can rent bikes down to Venice, but that's the bike path. It'll take you all the way down to Marina Del Rey and all the way up to Palisades Park. Uh, if you're thinking you might wanna ride your bike out into Malibu, um, don't because the bike path ends and you'll just be riding along the edge of Pacific Coast Highway and I wouldn't do it. I know a lot of people love Bubba Gum Shrimp uh, and you can sit in there and you can get great views of the beach and the shrimp's pretty good too. If you didn't bring your sunglasses, here you go, buy some sunglasses, one pair for $15. It's probably a $2 pair of sunglasses. Hey, but if you need it for the day, then you will want it. You can see this guy's painting here. He's getting the parking lot ready. I'd tell you the price, but they haven't posted prices yet because they have yet to open that uh, parking lot up. There's a couple of kind of cool seafood restaurants that are here on the pier. This one's called the Albright, which has uh, fish and chips, fish tacos, uh, clam chowder, uh, that sort of thing. We can look at a few more pictures of that seafood that they've got right up here. And uh, here we got seafood, pizza, burgers, and a rooftop lounge up at the top of this one. So we got the restaurant downstairs and upstairs. This is the Piers, the official Pier gift shop uh, by Santa Monica. Uh, if you want to get your official Pier t-shirts, this is where you get the official merchandise. And over here, um, not open yet today, but uh, is the Santa Monica carousel. If I stick my phone up to the glass, you can see there's this old school carousel right there. The Spunky Princess, my two-year-old daughter really loves this carousel on the pier and just it's a really neat classic carousel. Now if you were going up to downtown Santa Monica, Third Street Promenade, uh, you would go up that bridge into downtown Santa Monica, but we're gonna go check out my uh, secret dollar an hour parking lot and then I'll show you a little bit of the beach. This is basically where the pier itself ends and we're gonna go down this ramp where this service vehicle is coming up yellow color and just down here is <coughs> where one part of the Santa Monica boardwalk runs there's two halves of it there's the part that you can walk on and then there's the part that you can bicycle on so this is the walking part of the boardwalk and then we're gonna get up to the bicycling part of it in a moment as we kind of get over to the like open air uh, I'll call it Santa Monica Muscle Beach area there's a few restaurants that are down here uh, the pandemic closed a couple but Big Dean's Oceanfront Grill is a classic to um, you know kind of like an oceanfront dive bar and uh, you might find bicycles to be cheaper down here other than on the pier if you're looking for a uh, two-person bike you'll find those right down here all right and uh, there's a classic hot dog on a stick next to my secret parking lot i guess it's not much of a secret anymore so i'm talking about it on this video but this parking lot right at the foot of the pier is one dollar per hour two hour maximum but if you're just coming to the pier it's pretty good this is where all of the tour buses that like come from hollywood or things like that santa monica they park right here um the other parking lot, like the, the big parking lot right next to the pier on the other side is gonna cost you like $15 just to enter. It doesn't matter how long you stay, but yeah, parking in Santa Monica is not cheap. My other suggestion for parking, if you can't get into this lot, is up along the Third Street Promenade. They have uh, some parking garages that are like free for the first 90 minutes and 
fairly inexpensive per hour afterwards. Oh, so a hot dog on a stick. Uh, this one, like it was this old classic building that now they're remodeling. So hopefully that's open by the time you come. And uh, this area over here, there's like a children's playground. But what we're gonna get to is we're gonna get to this like workout area over here because this is Santa Monica's version of Muscle Beach. Muscle Beach where Arnold Schwarzenegger famously did all of his working out over down in Venice Beach. But there's this open air workout area where you'll see tons of people like doing yoga and doing acrobatics and like climbing on ropes. So here, let me, let me zoom in so that we can see this guy a little bit more climb up on that rope. I mean, I, I could not do that. I could not do that at all. And by the way, when I say it's Santa Monica's Muscle Beach, it's because this is actually the original location of Muscle Beach before it moved down to Venice Beach. So if you're like here where Chris wears all the workout equipment and things like that, well, it was here and now it's in Venice, which is just to the uh, south of Santa Monica. But we're looking at the pier right there, the lifeguard station, and there's all these different kind of manual things that you can work out on. Big set of restrooms right here. And you'll see some people riding their bikes here, but they're not supposed to. This side, supposed to be just for walking. And then we'll see where the side for riding bike is gonna be. You know, if it's early in the morning, it's not the summer, they don't police it all that much. But if you're here on a busy summer weekend, definitely keep your bikes on the right side. This is a little grassy area where you see tons of people be doing interesting acrobatics, um, interesting martial arts. These are the big rings. And then this second path over here that you notice this is the bicycle path in Santa Monica. So it's kind of nice if you are coming here on a bicycle because then you can ride your bike separated from all of the walkers, even though, you know, like really not everybody has figured it out. And so you'll find people walking where they shouldn't be in the middle of the bike path. But even this one has a separate side for bikes, as you can see. We've got these two right here, and then it's got the divider, and then it's got the parts that people can run on right here. And so uh, if you come to Santa Monica and you got a lot of time, get your bike, rent it. I recommend going down to the Venice Beach Boardwalk. That's pretty fun to ride your bike just kind of next to and uh, then come back to Santa Monica. But if you are spending more time around here and you wanna see more about the Venice Beach Boardwalk, you can click right here for my video tour all about the Venice Beach Boardwalk. And if you wanna go up to that Third Street Promenade, you can check that one out right here. Well, fellow explorers, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm gonna see you in one of these videos.